Coach Brian here. So another video on my 1973 Crown Super Coach. So I was gonna upgrade that valve and I broke it off when I went to remove it. So now I gotta take that part of the air system apart to replace that T. Um, so anyway, here we go. spiders half of this is about getting the wrenches in the right positions but that's not a today project I want to go through and replace all the rubber on this coach it's all old and it's seen many better days This seemed loose, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this tree apart. Yeah, it's loose. in the field like a rigid pipe threader because it was done in the factory the threads are much deeper. Oh yeah, these might have even been done by hand. Alright, well, let's see where we get. <laughs>
like to make sure that my threads are done. Oh, that hurts. Oh, man, that hurt. So I'm installing a splitter, or a T, because I want an inlet and an outlet here. That gives me maximum flexibility to meet any situation that comes up. Stop there intentionally. So I've got some inexpensive Harbor Freight uh, valves, but they'll do the trick. Crank them down in here real good. I'm using a 15 millimeter socket, and these valves were about three dollars a piece, which is a really good deal. The only problem is I don't have the right fittings to go in here. I bought females for some stupid reason and I need males. Uh, I'm trying to avoid, avoid, avoid buying fittings because they've become stupid expensive. Like these fittings here were like two and three dollars a piece at Lowe's. Talk about scam. Now on, off, off. 
that's something that is kind of nice about these. But that's where I like them because they're, if they're going to vibrate, they'll vibrate down. And that's going to give me a way to feed air in or to pull air out if for some reason I needed to go in either direction. So that's that's just a great way to do it. And uh, that's where the inlet and outlet uh, fittings attached. So that's the end of that project.